What's up guys, it's me, your bad ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so we beat the Elite Four with probably one of the weakest teams that I've had in quite some time. Probably not a well-thought team, but look at that, guys. Look at that. We, we won with that. Yeah. Very, well, it's a variety of Pokemon, and well, look at this. We entered the Hall of Fame just a few days ago and all that crud, and now... It is time to go into the next chapter of this game right here, which is the, what was it, the Delta? The Delta series? The Delta chapter? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there is something afoot. There is a Bigfoot. And, well, would you look at that? My daddy's here, and he's like, hmm. Why, if it isn't Draven? It's been some time since I last saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's an impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, and before I forget, I was thinking about giving you these, uh, and yeah, he gave us uh, the pair of tickets and all that crud. And, uh, well, there are tickets to a star show that's being held at the Moss Deep Space Center. I was really planning to go with your mom, but... <coughs> uh, trying to not cough here. It looks like I got to rush back at the gym in the Pedalberg. Oh, hmm. You know, it is it is a pair of tickets. Why don't you invite that little cutie May from next door to come along? Well... That was, like, the first thing that I was thinking. But, okay, thanks. All right, Dad, I'll do that. Now, I'd better get, be heading back to the gym. Thanks for looking after the house while I'm awake, dear. Of course, dear. You have a safe tri trip. Okay. All righty. So, uh, our mama's here, and she's like, oh, that dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in ages, and all he talks about is Pokemon. Why can't he ever just uh, let go and relax? And the television is going on, and he's like, and tomorrow, the long-awaited star show will finally begin. We've got all the latest news and updates. Oh, well, and just like that. Look at this, Draven. And, well, we're looking at this. The newscaster's going to be like, it last the little, uh, the little noi, little... Little Nid, oh, I can't even pronounce that. Meteor shower returns to illuminate Hoenn's night sky. The star show held at the Moss Deep Space Center will provide the best view of the shooting stars from the center's lofty view deck. We hope uh, we hope you will all will take the chance to join. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, it sounds lovely. The little lit. Wait, what was it? The little lit no, little nids. I, I can't even pronounce that. Guys, please help me out. Comment down below. I remember going to see them uh, with your dad about 11 years ago when they uh, last passed by. You should march right over to, uh, to invite that neighbor girl uh, you're friends with. You can't let the, the pair of tickets go to, uh, go, or you got uh, from dad go to waste. So take her along. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. She has a crush on me, so yes, I will. And, uh, well, once you step outside, somebody's waiting for you. Huh. Whoa. Are we in sync or what? You know, I was just thinking about you. It's great to meet you. It is our first time meeting, right? Yeah, that's right, of course it is. The name is Zinnia, and you? Well, I know all about you. You're Draven, of course. You're the new Pokemon League champion, and you're one of those uh, special few who, uh, who use uh, Mega Evolution to get closer to their Pokemon, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hmm, okay, I know, I know. I'll leave it alone. Look, I'm stopping. But this is a sure nice place, isn't it, Little Root? And everybody here is just so nice, too. Like that neighbor of yours. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to go on like that. We should keep our first meeting short and sweet, don't you think? Until next time, then. Bye bye Okay, alrighty. That is a... That is a, a weird interaction. Not really a weird interaction, but yes, we have interacted with somebody new. Anywho, let's go to our girlfriend's house because uh, we got uh, places to be, Pokemon to dominate, and uh, uh oh, something's uh, not right right here. Ow! May, are you okay? Well, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, Wibble, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. She just knocked me down a bit. Ouch, that stinks. Or stings, I should say. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Draven! Hello, baby. Draven, you, you're all right, huh? That's a relief. It all happened so fast that I couldn't do a thing, but some strange woman came into my room upstairs, and then she, well, she took my keystone from me. I tried to fight her off with my team, but she was really strong. I didn't stand a chance. I think I heard her muttering under her breath that she left, though. Something about Petalburg's nest. Uh, next, I should say. Draven, be careful. Okay. So, 
we gotta go to Petalburg. Huh. Okay, so, anywho guys, uh, let's see. At the time of this recording, yes, I'm gonna be riding my bike to Petalburg. So at the time of this recording, yes, uh, for the time being, I'm gonna be... Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of work to be done right here because there are a lot of Pokemon that I should have captured that I didn't capture, mainly because, you know, I took a break and all that crud. Like, uh, Pokemon like this guy right here. Yes. So... While you guys are watching this, I'm pretty much... Like, I'm pretty sure you guys gotta get a little bit of a time skip. Yeah, you're gonna get a time skip when it comes to... Uh, what was it? Uh... Yeah you, yeah, you will be getting a time skip. A huge time skip. Going into... I would like to say... The types of Pokemon that I'm gonna be getting. Because, yes, I'm gonna be updating the Pokemon. I'm gonna be, you know... Getting some Pokemon all buffed up and everything, battling a few people, putting in, putting in a lot of hours just to, you know, match whatever it is. Because, yes, I have been rushing into this game. Things have been crazy, and, uh, well, we gotta show everything right here. Well, the Pokemon League team that I have for this game, it shows. It literally shows what, uh, what kind of a rush I've been in. So, as you guys can see, we found ourselves a little up. Though it is a very brave Pokemon, it is also smart enough to check its foe's strength and avoid battle. And yes, we are going to bequeath this Pokemon's name Ace, I think. Or Stoutland from Scotland. Was it Ace? Yes, it was Ace. We'll figure it out afterwards. If it's not the name, then you know what? We are going to change it up later on. So yes, it's been transferred and yeah, we are capturing a Pokemon like nobody's business. And uh... Shoot, what else, what else is there? Like, what else is new? No, just pretty much that. Yeah, we're going to be going everywhere, capturing every Pokemon, making sure that we have a nice fine collection and all that stuff. And then from there, going into, like, you know, the final portions of this game right here. Um, if you guys haven't caught, caught it yet, yes, I have been posting up uh, reels for where to find Mega Evolutionary Stone. So, yeah, that's another thing right there. Now, here we are in Petalburg City. And I'm only assuming if uh, if we go to the gym right here, yeah, we're gonna be finding something. And there is our daddy, and he's gonna be like, Draven, how's your training going? I'm proud as a parent that you've become the champion, son. Still, you must not think that you have reached your peak as a trainer. It is only after you reach a certain height that, that the view opens up and you see how far the road stretches. I want to see you trying to hone your, uh, yourself and your skills even further. I'll be behind you, Draven. Huh. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, he, he's just being supportive. But as you guys can see right here, there is a little something something going on. And, uh, well, this guy right here is like, You're such a little pain. Shut up and give me that keystone. I, I don't have it, I tell you. Don't play dumb. I already know that you can use a Mega Evolution. Ugh. Are you even listening? I've been telling you. Ah, Draven. And this guy's like, What the? You punk. Hoo-ha. Just in time, aren't you? I'm gonna take your keystone first, you jerk. Hmm. Okay, so here we are, battling big old roided out admin Matt, and uh, he's gonna be coming out with his Sharpedo right here. So yeah, just like uh, be aware of that. And well, we're gonna be coming out with Leviathan, pretty cool Pokemon, ready to go, level 65, and we're gonna go with a Dragon Pulse right here, even though it's like not the smart move. So here we go, Dragon Pulse. And that nearly takes out Sharpedo, and this Pokemon right here is going to increase its speed just tenfold right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight for a... Oh, wow. It tucked its head. It is increasing its defense. Here we go with a Dragon Pulse. Too bad. Too sad. You will not... You will not defeat us, Sharpedo. And just like that, Leviathan wins and talks to Batman without doing anything. He is learning Quick Guard, so... Yeah, we're not going to do that for right now. And, uh, well, let's see. We have defeated Admin Matt. I am happy. We should all be happy about that. So, let's see. What does he have to say? Hooah! You clown. Always getting all up in my business. If it's going to be like that, I'm off to the Meteor Falls. Ah, the Meteor Falls. Thank you so much, Draven. That strange man suddenly attacked me, demanding that I hand over my keystone. The truth is, I couldn't give it to him even if I wanted to. My keystone is gone. I left it in the house when I went out, and it just disappeared. What in the world is going on? If someone like that ever shows up again, I've got to protect my mom and dad. You be careful too, Draven. Ah. 
Okay, so the plot thickens, and well, we're getting a call, and uh, whoa, what is this? Hello, hello? Is that you, Draven? It's Steven. It's Steven Stones. Have you, how, how or how you have been doing well? <laughs> I imagine you might be quite shocked. This is a communication mode that Devon is still currently developing. It comes installed in every Pokemon Hub Plus. And I thought that I would only use it if I needed to contact you, uh, contact you urgently. But it looks like, though, that time has already come. I'm sorry to ask you of this, but I need you to come over to the Devon Corporation in Rustboro. There is something I have to talk to you about in person. I'll be waiting you f uh, for you there. Okay, so we have to go to Stephen Stone. So we're going to be riding our bike over there because, well, you know, the Pokemon. And it looks like right here we've already caught every Pokemon. And... We gotta go straight into the Petalburg Woods and see if we can find more Pokemon. And look at that, yeah, we we can definitely find some new Pokemon right here. Just uh, hopefully it's the right one. And there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna put a Max Repel because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. So let's see. Ah, here we go. Max Repels. You gotta love them. Back when I was a kid, holy crud, never used those. So, let's see, I'm going to press that little button right there, and we're going to keep on tippy-toeing our way to this Pokemon, and bam. <coughs> Man, I am coughing. Anywho, here we have a Cottony, and yes, we're going to just, uh, yeah, this Cottony right here looks easy to capture. Like I said, guys, I'm going, I'm going to be doing a lot of capturing off-screen. Uh, a lot of evolutions and all that stuff. Literally, I'm going to be filling up the Pokédex and, and everything. But I'm still going to be showcasing some of the important stuff. Like, you know, the extra... What was it called? Um, The extra starter Pokémon that you can obtain in this game. And then everything else in between. And look at that Leviathan get some more points. And Cottony has been put into our Pokédex. It looks like we're getting a lot of Unova Pokémon. And... Well, here we have... Un or... It's not even a Unova, it's Kalos. Yeah, it's Kalos. Perhaps they feel more e at ease in a group. They stick to others, and they find, and they end up looking like a cloud. That is pretty cool. And, yes, we are not going to nickname anything. So, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. It looks like, to me, we still got another Pokemon to find. And that is a Pokemon we've already caught. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Right here. Is there anybody else? No, not really. Okay, so let's move on ahead right here. And yes, we've caught every single Pokemon in this area. So, let's go ahead and get on our bikes and go straight to, uh, what was it called? Rustboro City to talk to good old, uh, what's his face? The Devon Corporation dude, Steven Stone. Yes, I forgot to do the whole like cool accent kind of thing with him. Completely forgot about it. So here we are, and there he is, Draven. I'm sorry about summoning you so suddenly. It's well known how often my intuition turns out to be right, but I never imagined we could be meeting again this soon. I'm sorry to say it is not a happy news that brings us together. Sigh. This isn't something we should discuss in out in public. Let's continue inside. Oh, so dramatic. After you. My question is, how old is this man? Like, is he old or is he just like, you know... He likes to have all his hair all platinum and stuff. And, well, would you look at this? He's like, Dad, Draven is here. Well, welcome. Well, 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 welcome, welcome. It's quite in a... Well, he doesn't have an accent. It's quite a while, hasn't it been? <laughs> I suppose I'm just getting old. Recently, I seem to forget details just as soon as I get to learn them. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh, I know. I know that you, you want to say my... My, what a hasty, impatient you, uh, one you are. What are, uh, what are we to do with such an impatient one for our Pokemon League champion? <laughs> he just trolled them. Oh, my God. Hmm. Oh, is that so? So, you're the new Pokemon League champion, Draven. Then I guess we'll never break you out of the impatience after all, Steven. <laughs> Dead. Oh, wow, he's mad. <laughs> I know, I know. Can't you take a joke? Now then, Draven. I'm afraid that I'm planning to start in uh, on a rather long and quite heavy topic. Are you sure you're ready to take all, take all of this in? Yes, I am. Hmm. Then I suppose I should begin. 
Let me uh, first take us back 3,000 years ago to the days when this story began. Oh wow, what the heck? There was a great war at the time in the region far from here. That was probably Kalos. That war was finally brought to an end by a weapon created by one man. And that energy source could power such a dreadful weapon. Do you know? You see, it ran on the life of energy of Pokemon. The energy that could be gained by the sacrifice of so many Pokemon. There are surely many po uh, people who could call it rep rep reprehensible. But my grandfather, the president of the Devon Corporation before me, said this. Couldn't we use the energy to improve the lives of uh, people and Pokemon? And so he developed our greatest creation here in the Devon Corporation, the Infinity Energy. Thanks to the Infinity Energy, Devon was able to become one of the top industries in Hoenn and develop into a giant you see today. You may be surprised to learn that the Devon parts you once recovered for us is, uh, were in fact parts to, of a motor that would uh, make it possible to power the, a submarine using the Infinity Energy. It was not long before we began to expand our attempts to further uh, human development. Next, we moved into exploring space. The rockets launched from the Moss Deep uh, Space Center using our infinity energy. They are the true results of our dreams, our passion, and our technology. But never did we imagine that they could end up as the best hope of saving our world. My preamble has been quite long, but we arrive at the last at the real issue. That is the overwhelming catastrophe which now approaches us. A huge asteroid, more than six miles in diameter, is currently on track to collide with our, our planet. We have been working together with the Moss Deep Space Center, which was the first to recognize this danger. We are devising countermeasures that would use rockets, but in order to in order for these uh, these plants to succeed, though, we need the meteorite shard. So that's it. You want them to go and get that shard for you? Ha! <laughs> that's my boy, all right. I knew you'd understand at once. It was hardly a deduction worthy of praise. Wow, he is bitter because his dad threw some shade at him and all that stuff. But anywho, I want you to, to I want you to make your way to the granite cave near Duford. According to our surveys, you should be able to find the kind of meteor shards that we need there. And you just and you, Steven, I want you, son, to head over to the space center at once to start preparations using the cable or the link cable that I gave you. The link cable? So it is uh so it is to be a warp system. Yes, I understand. But granite cave. Ah, I see. The floor where we first met, the floor with the, with the ancient uh, wall paintings. It is true that there were, there were many shards of meteorites scattered around, about there. It looks like, it looks as though it is, it's decided then, Draven. I will head to the space center in Moss Deep. If I learn anything, I will contact you at once. Though it will end up in another one-sided message like the one I, I sent you, I'm afraid. Good luck. No cool pose. Steven. Well, you be careful. He's like, yeah. You know, secretly, he is probably flipping him off because of the shade he threw him in and everything. Anywho, uh, talking to the dad right here, he's like, then I will be counting on you two, uh, the two of you, to take care of this for, uh, for me at once. If you forget just what it is that you need to do, come talk to me again, assuming I remember as well. Ho <laughs> ho! Anywho. So, that is our mission for, well, this whole exploration right here, guys. We got a buttload of stuff that we need to take care of. And thankfully, you know, we got enough time to actually do it. So, like I said in our last episode, yes, I am going to take a small break. But you guys will be seeing a time skip from here because, well, shoot. I'm going to be doing a lot of catching, breeding, all this stuff. Filling up my Pokedex and whatever. And then don't be too surprised if you see some, like, old Pokemon in the team and all that stuff. Or... You know, some fun Pokemon on the team. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.